In this video, I'm going to show you guys an important bug fix for our voice flow many chat integration, which I've shown you guys in the past videos, but there was one big flaw with that flow, which I showed you, which is that when a user sent a paragraph inside of DM, so they had one line, then they had an empty paragraph, and then they had a second line of text in their message, which people do from time to time the code would not work. So I'm going to explain why that happened and how you can fix it. And all the templates and all the code, which I'm going to show you in this video can all be found down below in the description or in the pinned comment in our free resource hub, where we're going to collect all current tutorials, codes, uh, templates, and all future stuff will be uploaded there too, so that you can easily copy it and do it by yourself. So let's jump right into it. This is the flow, which I showed you in the last video. This is the only new part up here and i'm going to get into it in a second so basically when a message is triggered um on many chat we're going to set the last reply field to zero which is last reply is what we give out to the user which is the reply message right then this is the same as the last video if you haven't checked that check that one again um we're going to check if the user exists in voice flow um we're going to check so the check value is going to put into the user ID checker variable. If that has any value, that means the user exists. And we're going to send the request to voice flow to get a reply back to our message. If not, we're going to start or launch the chat. And then we're going to send the message to get the reply back. Now, when we send the message to get the reply back, this is basically where the error happens. So the last text input right here only works if it's a one liner, right? Um, or if it's all in one block, if there's a paragraph in between, then this code basically gets split up um, into multiple rows, and it gets completely fucked up, right? Um, so the code does not work anymore. Um, the response for from any chat gets put into the last reply variable. Now, if this code does not work, then the last reply variable is going to remain zero, right? So if we don't get an answer back because of this paragraph issue, it's going to remain zero. And um, in that case, we're going to do these steps, which I'm about to show you. If it's not zero, that means the request went through, we got the answer back from voice flow, and then we're simply gonna send that out as the last reply variable. Now, <clears throat> if we remain as a zero, that means that it didn't work out and we're going to have to try again. Um, and we're going to have to reformat that. So the way that we do that is with a Google app script. Um, so the way it works is you go to script.google.com, click on new project, and you simply put this code in there. Um, you're then going to deploy it as a web app. And this code is basically going to take out all the paragraphs from that text so that it's one text snippet. The way that it's set up here is you put in your Google uh, app script um, URL. And at the end, you have user message equals last text input, which is a variable right here, which is what the user gave you or what the user sent, which vo uh, which many chat captured. Then the response for that is going to go to a variable which we set up called processed input. So the processed input is going to be the message without paragraphs. Again, this only gets triggered if over here we um, we weren't able to get a reply back. Then after we have that in the processed input, so after we got back this variable, the process input variable, where the paragraphs are removed, we then send the request to voice flow again, which is the same thing as before, but we have the variable over here processed input. Um, so the processed input is uh, is going to be sent and the reply, the which we get back from voice flow is going to be set to last reply, and we're going to send out the message over here as last reply. So that's going to fix it. If uh, the user's message is just is without a paragraph, then it's going to run as normal. If it is a paragraph and we don't get a reply back, we're going to send it an external request uh, to app script. Uh, we're going to get back the formatted text and we're going to send out the message. An important thing to note is here for the app script at the end, you just have the last text input. Um, and that's basically the bug fix. I just wanted to share this with you guys, because if you deploy this for a client and then this issue occurs, it's going to be a big mess. So um, had to share this with you guys. If you found any value in this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out our free resource hub so that you can get all the code, which I showed in this video.